today we're going to replace our VA4233 GGA2 Johnson Controls valve actuator. Actuator that's stuck in the open position is not responding to any voltage. We've tested the voltage coming in and we found no movement with our valve. Before replacing our actuator we need to turn off the power to our controller. So we're going to turn off the controls and then we're going to walk to the fan control and put that in off. We're going to take the junction box cover off and find our wiring for our actuator. Before unhooking our wires, we're going to make note of where everything goes. Our yellow coming from our actuator is our 24 volt power. The red coming from the actuator is our 0 to 10 VDC control and our white coming from the controller is our common common ground so before undoing this we want to make note and write that down so we reconnect these properly. We've got our wires separated we found which ones go to the actuator we're working on which is our heating actuator. Let's connect our wires noting which wires go where. Before taking off the actuator, you have to wind down the manual override so that you can release the valve off of it where it connects to the stem. rubber plug where the wire goes into the actuator so we can thread our Armor Flex 90 like it was originally installed. slide the wire through the armor flex back to the junction box Oop. and we have our wire run cover back on our armor flex 90 locking it back in We're getting ready to mount the actuator to the valve body putting our set screw just a couple threads in we have to manually open a few turns in order to get the actuator to mount onto that castle nut on top of the valve. So here we have to get it lined up. Not the flat spot, the valve's hot. And then we'll release the valve. Tighten the set screw with a flat screwdriver. When we turn this unit on, we're automatically calibrating. We're not using the feedback wire on this application, so we're going to roll it away like it was originally. Our yellow wire is our 24 volt power, our white wire is our common, and our red or burgundy wire is our 0 to 10 VDC control wire. Our power on. All right, we're going to turn our controller back on. And we have power. Our motor controller back in auto. And as you can see, our valve is closing. This is a spring return open actuator.
see the valve is calibrating. It went down a stroke, now it's going up a stroke. The room, the room was currently overheating. We're still going through our calibration, and the valve should be closing. Our controls say that our valve should be 0% open, and that is what we are at now. The valve is holding, and the room is now cooling down.